Hi everyone, today I am joining uh, other homeschool mamas and we are collaborating to share our winter update. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Michelle, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. I am a homeschool mom to two kiddos, a high schooler and an elementary kid. And I love to make homeschool video to help homeschool parents and I'm also part of the homeschool review crew. So today I am joining uh, Valerie from our homeschool castle and other mamas from YouTube and we are sharing our our winter update. So what's going on? You know, what are we changing? What's been going on in our homeschool? So make sure when you're done, you check Valerie's channel. I will link it below and I will also put the, uh, the playlist so you can see everyone's winter update. So we just started school back up last week very slowly because we, we were sick. And so we kind of started slowly this past week. And so uh, it's going okay, not as I wanted to start, but uh, it's hopefully when we start again next week, we are, we'll be able to have more of a routine. So one of the things that we are kind of starting this uh, now in the winter, my kids on Fridays are going to be gone for a whole day for co-op and I'm really excited. Um, my kids are excited. Uh, we um, we started co one class in co-op in the fall, but I decided to send them the whole day. My son is taking four classes and my high schooler is only taking two, but she's going to be gone all day. She's going to be over there and doing you know, uh, you know study hall and things. So. I get a I get a day for myself, so that's also that's also very exciting. So so be on the lookout for updates to see how it's going with co-op. Um, another thing, my son is uh, is going to continue doing his ABA therapy, but we have a new. Unfortunately, well, you know, we have a new you know therapist. We love the one that we we had, but she had to, um, you know, she had to stop working for now. So we have a new one. So hopefully, it works well. I still need to give you guys an update and talk a little bit more about what we're doing, you know, with therapy, but that's the new thing. We're going to be doing therapy four times a week for about three and a half hours uh, because on Fridays we have co-op with a new therapist. So let's see how that works. For my high schooler, we don't have anything new that we are starting. Um, so we are doing, we, we were doing ride shop and she's still going to be doing ride shop, but she's going to be doing that in co-op. I saw that, you know, they were offering that in co-op. I was like, well, let her do it over there. Maybe she'll having, you know, this, uh, because she'll have, you know, deadlines and assignment that she needs to turn in. So, uh, hopefully that will work a little bit better and just kind of relieve me a little bit from, 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 you know, the pressure of that. I want her to become more independent. So let's see how that goes so she's going to be doing right shop in a class with with you know with with the co-op uh, like i say i think that's it we are going to kind of continue doing the same things finishing up some things uh, uh i'm trying for history do a little bit more movies and and activities so the, and, and field trip so let's see how that works so but really we just kind of truck along and trying to finish our our school year for my second grader, uh, so he does um, ABA, like I said, in the mornings, but I still want to get some schoolwork done with him, and I'm going to try to get it done early in the morning. We'll see how that goes, but we, you know, if we don't get it done by the time the therapist le leaves, it's be impossible to get stuff done with him, so I just have to start a loop schedule with him. Uh, we tried loop schedules before, the loop scheduling with my daughter I work well, but first I said, okay, I'm not going to do loop schedules anymore. But I decided let's start it with him. So I did this, you know, very simple. I made this little thing in, um, in Canva. So it has Lincoln Loop Schedule. So here are the things that he's going to be doing daily. So we have a language arts loop, math, reading time, and a daily loop. Language arts loop, uh, we have explode the code. We're going to do spelling. We're going to work on, work on a jotted down project and, and game. So we're going to, each day we'll do one and we're just going to loop it. And then we have our daily loop. In our daily loop, we're going to be doing history and, you know, social studies, science, geography, and hopefully some nature studies. We do nature club, but I'm trying to do, we, we're going to spend more time outside. Um, so maybe do some nature studies um, at home. So this is, we're going to try a loop schedule and see how that works for my little one. We started, actually, we started this week, but he didn't have, you know, therapy this week. 
So it worked well, but let's see how it works when he starts therapy because I have to get him up earlier so we can get our hour of work before the therapist get here. So wish me luck. I um, want to see how that works. But this is a loop schedule for him. Um, and that's it. I think uh, one of the things I'm going to start, it's not for our homeschool, it's just kind of for, for, for me and for and mostly for me and my son. We are uh, going to try to do a thousand hours outside this year. We started actually the beginning of December and we're going to go to the beginning of December all the way to next December. So let's see how it goes. We've been doing okay. We're going outside, but that's our goal. Uh, you can check a hundred hours outside. It was a kind of movement that was started by, by a homeschool mom. And then it's just become national. It just become worldwide and it's pretty awesome. So I will put a link if you don't know what a hundred, a thousand hours outside movement is and it just inspires you to get outside more and even if I don't get to the thousand hours just working towards that will make me and my son go get get outside more okay so we'll see how that goes so this is my update yeah no, nothing big happening I'm trying to do more field trips to always say that's my goal and it never happens but I put it on the calendar um once a month we are going to do something like i mentioned before we live about an hour from dc and there's all these places that we haven't um that we haven't visited so i'm trying to try once a month at least take the kids to one thing that i know they will enjoy so let's see again let's see if that works if i can you know keep up with that so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. It's just kind of my update. I was going on in a homeschool and what we're planning to do for the next couple of months. Uh, make sure you check Valerie's channel and also the playlist so you can see everyone's uh, update for the winter. I can't wait to see what everyone's uh, have to say about what they're changing, what they're keeping. So it's always fun. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.